and in all my time of working for the company, no one's ever been hurt or injured. So I did start last Sunday. <laughs> but, but so far, so good. Okay, no, just kidding, last year. Alright, on the left hand side, some breweries and vineyards on the left hand side. Now, your tour is due to start at 11 15 and should be completed by 1 15. Now, if you have a plan, I, either myself or my colleague Gavin will deliver you to the, those places. We can usually drop you off back to the ferry, the main village, one of the vineyards on the way, or a beautiful beach called Onetangi. And now, if you don't have a plan and you want to have some ideas, you're more than welcome to talk to your guides who are with you. They're familiar with the island, they might have some ideas or suggestions. Guys.
is going to be once again on the Vineyard Valley at stop number seven and stop number eight. Stop number seven is Tantalus Estate in Alibi Brewery. And at stop number eight is Stony Ridge, Timotu and Wild on Wahegan. Stop number eight, which is another hop, skip, and a jump to Tantalus Estate, Alabama. No, it's not. Tumultu, Stony Ridge, and Wild on what again? I think I had too much sun on my face. So, welcome to stop number eight. Stop number 11 for Austin. Go to stop number 11 for Austin. Next stop is going to be stop 13 for Aniwala Village. This is where you can go to this Oyster Inn for fantastic seafood. The local for fish and chips. If you want fabulous gelato ice cream, you can go to the Island Gelato Company. 
You can also do the fantastic two fat buns for gourmet burgers. Yes, there's a pun intended in that one. And if you want to try any more wine that we don't get you to, such as other the other 32 local vineyards that we do have on the island, you can go to the Waiheke Wine Center. We only get you to 13 of those 32 local vineyards. So it is very worth it if you want to try here, but I would really recommend Mudbrook as that's my second favorite vineyard. grapes that we are going to be passing by on our left hand side. That is the Chardonnay grape. Those are going to be ready for harvesting in February to March. And if you look really, really closely, you actually see the Chardonnay grape actually forming. I've only work, been working at here for two months and they have grown significantly later on in the evening. The bistro is the canopy roof there and where the, the umbrellas are, that is the rooftop bar and the cellar door. Keys, your wallet, your ticket for the ferry, your bags, or anything you did come along your journey today. I mean, if you do want to leave anything behind, we do take wine. We, Our livers are going to be so grateful afterwards if you do leave that behind. No, do take that with you because that would not be a great day to have if that happened. So once again, thank you guys for joining us today. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa. See you all real soon. Kaketiano. And your four o'clock sailing will be going via Devonport today as well. Kodama will be your lovely vessel that you'll be on. <coughs> so do remain seated until this bus has stopped being in motion because your safety is our number one priority here.